Hi, you winners. I'm your host, Cat for the Win, and this is my mom, Mystic Moon. And this is the first game we're playing that's not Walking Dead. So, she does not know what it is. It is. Bonchion Dong Ghost. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I know what it is, hence why I'm having her do it, because I already know. So, she's going to read and scroll, and I'm going to watch, pretty much. Oh no, it said reader discretion is advised for the elderly. Am I elderly? No. Oh, that's good. Come on now. She's like the youngest parent out of all my <laughs> friends' parents, so. I was joking. Yeah. Best be. So, continue, or continue. Let's scroll Start. on. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Just make sure to read everything. On true eyewitness accounts. <gasps> So, read out loud. Oh, it was around 11.20 <laughs> that night. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. I hope this isn't a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> anyway, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while I walking home. Oh, not safe, dude. Dude. Suddenly... A shadow stretching towards me caught my eye, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who it was and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. Yeah. I could tell she looked crippled. She was limping, crippled, limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if her joints and her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out everywhere. That ankle. Yeah, right? It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. <gasps> oh, Jesus. That still made me jump and I already knew. Actually, scroll back up. What's really cool is it automatically scrolled for you. So keep going. Like, it does frame by frame. Oh, my god! So it, like, automatically made it scroll to look like it was moving. Ugh. That's really cool, though. But anyway, continue. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I already knew it was going to happen. It made me jump, so. You know people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream? Well, that was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Hmm, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. Where's my baby? My questions were racing to question her. She said it so nicely. <laughs> or to her question, yeah. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me the chills thinking that moment. Gulp. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Uh, over there. I don't know if I'd tell her where her baby was. Right? I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she limped toward where I had pointed, and I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave the apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to a place where there would be people or get to a place where people would be around. At that moment, she is not here. I heard her screaming from far away. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that one I was prepared for. But if you scroll up, it looks like she's breakdancing. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what that is? That's the Matrix. Right? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, it does that gave like me a slight heart attack, but I knew it. that one I reacted better to. Ooh. So, her face. Look at that face. Dang. Right? I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, an apartment complex in Bongcheong Dong Guanakug, Seoul, a 33 year old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost custody of her two year old daughter and decided to commit suicide. <sighs> After that incident, Cho was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. That's it, and then it repeats itself. <sighs> so, that was. Bong Xiong Dong Ghost. Right? 
Right. So my mom has played a first jump scare with me. Is that what that is? Oh, yeah. Jump scare. It's not really a game, though. It's a window, as you guys can see. It's just scrolling. So I will link you to it if you guys want to play it or force other people to do it, like me. So (laughs) it's only, you know, six minutes, not even. So, yeah. How'd you like it? A little scary. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's not as bad as I could put her through, I'm sure. Exactly. So, yeah. And if I find any more like it, I'll probably have her do it. Because she's a good reader. So, I mean, there were a few parts where she revised what it said, but she still made it make sense. I'm a revisionist. Yeah, she is. But at least, like, it's not like me who takes forever. I don't get the dyslexicness from her. So, get it from my dad. But yeah, so if there's any reading ones, if you guys know of any reading ones, let us know. Send them. Yeah. Or like even or something if it's easy a game. I can play. Yeah, cuz I hate doing things over and over again. That and also she she doesn't really play games, so she doesn't know like mouse have to look around. She even with my friends, we're sometimes discoordinated, but at least they know like if I'm walking forward, they know which way to like look and turn around and stuff whereas not so much for my mom. I'm so. dyslexic with video games. Yeah. So if it's just like, we could probably do a point and click or anything like that, but if you guys know of good ones or of good reading ones, we would love to. Yep. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep winning, guys. Bye.